Q. Howard. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. I want you to get up right now. Get up, go to your windows, open them and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Things have got to change. How many stations does this You've go out? You've got to get mad. 67. You've got to say, I know it goes to Louisville and Atlanta. Hell. I'm not going to take this anymore. Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil crisis. But first, get up out of your chairs, open the window, stick your head out and yell and say, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore.
right now, the cops are banging at the door. It's about 1.30 in the morning. They're still banging on the door. I told them over and over again they're at the wrong address. They keep yelling out 4663, and that is the wrong address. They are not at the right place. And they will not stop. You're not at the right place. Please stop. You have the wrong address. This is not 4663. This you have the wrong address. Videotape this. If y'all, if I'm dead in the morning, you know why it's because I do not trust the Cap County Police. This is retaliation against me for Sergeant James and the other Calvin trying to kick in my door. They broke my fingers last time. I've had a two-year investigation with Internal Affairs. The last invest Internal Affairs investigator, Sergeant Benjamin, that investigated, they didn't. It, it's just a big farce, and this is harassment. I haven't done anything. Sir, we're opening the door, please stop. We're opening the door, please stop. Okay, please stop. You're being, you're being filmed, please stop. Please stop. You're being, you're all on camera, please stop. We will open the door. We will open the door. We will open the door, just stop. Who's the supervisor? Where's the captain? Okay, so please, please tell us why you're here. No, just tell us why you're here. I rebuke Satan back to the depths of hell from whence he came. I rebuke Satan.